Arriving by train at the Denali National Park train station, we transfer to the Denali Bluffs Hotel by the hotel shuttle bus. So we started by hooking down this steep pathway. We had an option of waiting around for a golf cart. The golf carts are being used to deliver luggage. Even though they've been in business for a while, it looks like they're not quite ready to handle a train load of people. I mean, we had a 50 passenger bus, it was full, and there seemed to be some confusion on how to get people down here. The good point is they did hand out room keys on the bus, but getting us off the train onto the bus was a bit of a show and disorganized. Finally, we got up here to the bluffs, as I said, we kind of had to hoof down this pathway. Didn't really feel like waiting for a bus, a cart. And this is the direction to our room, building 16. And it looks like we're right at the end. I'd say beyond this, now there is stuff beyond that little gully. So we're sort of in the middle of it. Okay, let's go in. I called to the desk and we asked about microwaves. And we were told two things. Um, microwaves are up on the hill at the Grand. Which, of course, doesn't do us any good here because I don't think anybody in a room up there wants to loan us the use. Asking if there was one in the area here anywhere, uh, the person at the desk said, they thought there might be one in the laundry room. So I think we'll say there is no microwave facility available. Checking around the room here, I see um, two USB port arrangements. Looks like that's all. Standard do-it-yourself coffee maker. There's an outlet behind the chair. Looks like electric baseboard heating that... Oh, I see. If I want to use the coffee maker, i got to get down on the floor and plug that thing in. Hmm. Closer inspection of the room. Yes, there's another electric baseboard heater. There's a thermostat. We'll see if it's effective later on. So, overall impression is I hope it doesn't rain or snow tomorrow because I don't I'm not too excited about staying in the room if there's nothing else to do. And it looks like it's going to be a bit of a hike go anywhere else. Uh, we were told there's a shuttle bus that runs every hour on the half. There's our first mosquito. So much for that mosquito. So we were told there's a shuttle bus that runs usually on the half hour. Some people said they didn't agree with that, but we'll find out. Uh, the next thing as we were told that when the trains come in or they have to shuttle people back down to the train station or from the train station not to count on good bus service unless we're riding down to the park to the train station and then getting a shuttle bus back we may have to wait until after everything settles for bringing train passengers back up to the hotel and then we were firmly reminded checkout time is 10 o'clock and they want us out of here. Okay, that's it for now. First impressions. Continuing with my first impressions of this room, I'll notice that for hanging clothes we have three hangers. And if we go over to the closet, oh look, we have one entire hanger here. 
How about that? We've got four hangers for all of our clothes. I guess everything else has to be stuffed in the drawer. I don't see any other hangers anyplace else. <sighs> Looks like we've got to make another call to the front desk. Well, we got more hangers. It came quickly. Unfortunately, the hangers they gave us don't hook on these bars. They require one of these little metal doohickeys. Hmm. I guess we'll make another move to guest services in a while. The Park's Visitor Information Center campus is a must visit. Trail maps, park bus schedules, knowledgeable people at the reception desk, a life-size wildlife diorama, nearby hotel shuttle drop-off and pickup stations, a pickup point for the free green bus to the Savage River and the shuttle to the sled dog kennel. There's a restaurant and gift shop in nearby buildings. And there are hiking and walking trailheads.